Hey guys, I'm Roxana Risa and today we're going to be doing a full face drugstore makeup tutorial. We are going to be creating this makeup look right here which is the perfect vampy fall makeup look. I live for looks like this during this time of year. <sighs> They just, they complete me. So I'm really happy that I can show you guys, you know, it's not always about spending the most money or buying the most luxurious products. You can definitely achieve beautiful makeup looks while still, you know, staying on budget, choosing more affordable products, choosing drugstore products, you get the gist. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys this makeup look and how I created it. And without further ado, let us get into this video. As always, starting off with brows, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Brunette and just start filling in my brows as I normally would. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the edges with the NYX Concealer in a Jar in the shade Light. This concealer doesn't really work well for me under the eyes or really anywhere else on the face but for highlighting the brow bone and just cleaning it up it does work really well and then once I'm happy with the shape I'm just gonna set those brows down with the wet n wild ultimate brow mascara in the shade nothing but brunette this is a little bit lighter than the L'Oreal brow pencil but I actually like my brows a little bit lighter I've been wearing them a little bit lighter than usual at least for primer, I'm going to pop on the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer and really focus on the areas where I need it most, which is mostly towards the inner parts of my face as well as, you know, my T-zone. Foundation, you already know though, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I love this foundation. I feel like I use it in every drugstore tutorial, but it honestly is my favorite, so it's the one that I reach for the most, especially from the drugstore. And this is the shade 230, which is a little bit darker than, you know, my natural face color right now, but that's because my body is soft tan, so I want to match my face to my neck more so than my face to my face. Now for the eyes, I'm going to start off with the NYX HD Primer. Yeah, I think it's just called the HD Eyeshadow Base. So we're just going to apply this and then buff it out. Then for the actual base of the eyelid, I want to um, apply a cream shadow. So this is the Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX in the shade Black Bean. And this is just going to create a really nice base for our smoky eye. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild. It's the all-natural palette in the shade Nude Awakening. This is honestly one of the best eyeshadow palettes that I've tried from the drugstore. It's very pigmented and, you know, there's a nice color selection. Lots of really pretty plummy nudes. So I'm first going to go in with this shade, which is shade number 6, and start to buff that into the crease as our transitional shade. For brow bone highlight, I'm going to take shade 1 and just place that onto the brows, blending it down slightly. Now for our base lid shade, I'm going to take shade 7 and just pat that into the base with the Sigma Medium Sweeper E54 brush. And because we put down that really nice black base, it's going to become a little darker and a little bit more pigmented. And then one last time, we're going to blend that out. Um, I was really envisioning something a little bit more pinky, mauve for the blending shade, which this palette, there's a lot of sparkly ones, but I wanted something matte, so I'm actually going to go into the CoverGirl True Naked Roses palette and take this shade right here, which I believe is called Dusk, and just start blending that out so that we get a really nice, seamless finish. And I just thought that these two colors paired so beautifully together. This is actually another really good palette from the drugstore. And, you know, if you need to, you can always go back in and try to clean up the base shade a little bit more because I know it gets wiped away a little bit when we're blending out. And then for my winged liner, I'm taking the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in the shade Blackest Black and just doing my normal routine. And then once I've got that gel liner down, I always like to go in with my NYC liquid liner just to really refine the shape and also increase the intensity. Then I'm just taking a makeup wipe and cleaning up the edges so we get those wings nice and sharp. Time to add on some mascara. So I'm going in with the Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Honestly, this is one of the best drugstore mascaras. Actually, one of the best mascaras. It just happens to be from the drugstore. It gives so much volume. I love this stuff. Whenever I do a smoky eye, I actually like to go with lashes that are more voluminous rather than long. So I'm going to be using the Ardell Mega Volume 250s. These are really cool because they're actually um, multi-layered, which I've never really seen, especially not at the drugstore. 
but I think these work really well for this look especially. And I'm just gonna add on a little more mascara to kind of mold my lashes to the false lashes so it looks nice and seamless. All right, it's finally time to get back to the face makeup. So for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 10 Light. And I'm just going to apply that underneath the eyes, down the center of the face, just the normal places to conceal and highlight. And I'm just gonna blend that out with the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Then I'm gonna be setting my face down with the Maybelline Better Skin Powder. And then for the outer perimeter of the face, I'm going to warm it up with the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is in the shade Light, but it is a buildable powder, so I can really just go hams with this one. So now that our face is warmed up, we can go in with a contour shade, and I am going to be using the NYX Powder Blush in the shade Taupe. This is a really, really ashy um, contour shade, but, you know, it does work, especially if you are on a budget. It is one of the cheapest contour shades that I've found that actually does do the job. And I'm also just going to add a little bit of nose contour with that same product. Then I'm just going to go back in with the two shades that we used from the Wet n Wild palette and go underneath the lower lash line to just smoke it out a little bit more. And for the waterline, I'm going to go in with this really pretty plum shade. It's from Jordana and it's called the Easy Liner for Eyes in the shade Eggplant. And of course, mascara on the bottom lashes. I know some people don't really like to do this on their own eyes, so if you don't, just feel free to skip this step. But for me, I do feel like it really opens up my eyes. For blush, I'm gonna pop on the Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amore. I haven't used this in a hot minute, but it is such a beautiful blush. It has the most beautiful kind of berry tone, but it has a bit of gold speckle in it. So stunning. Time for some highlight. So I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. I love this stuff. I think it is honestly the best, hands down best highlighter from the drugstore. I only have one shade, it's called Crown of My Canopy, but I really, really want to get more shades of this because it has such a beautiful formula and I find that most drugstore highlighters don't. So yeah, I really, really like this one. So I'm just applying that directly to the tops of the cheekbones and then sort of circling it up around towards the eye. Mm, mm, mm. Now that is what I'm talking about. Applying highlight just makes me so happy. And of course down the center of the nose, the tip of the nose, the cupid's bow, and the inner corners. Alrighty, now moving on to the lips, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Liner in the shade Plum Berry. I'm just gonna outline my lips and fill in the contours a little bit so we have a nice base. And then for our lip color, I'm gonna be using the NYX Cosmetics Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Vancouver. Thumbs up if you're from Vancouver. Did you guys know I actually used to live there for a couple years, so I got a soft spot in my heart for all my little Vancouverites. So yeah, comment down below if you're from Vancouver because I love you, if you are. But girl, this shade though, okay? It just makes me love Vancouver a little bit more. You know what I mean? Ooh, I love this lip color so much. Now, the last step is gonna be our setting spray. I was gonna say finishing spray, but then I started to say setting spray, so that sounded a little weird. But our setting spray, and I'm gonna be using the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray, and just, you know, spray this all over our face. Alrighty, and once you are done, this is the finished look, our drugstore vampy fall makeup look. I really, really enjoyed creating this, and I think it's definitely, you know, a nice, affordable makeup look, perfect for fall time. I know a lot of you do like when I do, you know, drugstore affordable makeup looks, so definitely leave a comment down below if you want to see even more of them on my channel. I've been trying to incorporate more, but you know, I always want to get your feedback and just see what you guys are wanting to see from me. So let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do upload twice a week, every single week. So you definitely don't want to miss out. I think that's going to be it for me. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. I love you guys. And I will see you in my next video.